Hi, I'm John Andrew Dixon. I'm an artist. And I work a lot in a medium that I'm sure you're very familiar with. It's called collage. And a collage artist works with paper. And like most artists, we work indoors in the studio a lot. And most collage artists work in the studio. But I do something that's slightly different. Not all collage artists do this. I take the process of working in the collage medium outdoors and into the open air as you can see and in the French language they refer to this as en plein air. There's a few challenges involved and that one is you have to take all your materials out in nature in a way you can work and you have to be concerned about things like the, the wind and, and the weather. And so I came up with a system where I found an old dish drainer and I reworked this with these little folders where I can pack different colors of paper um, in these slots. Now these this is where the dishes would have gone. This was like from the days before dishwashers and um, so I've got my rainbow of colors and I have this big clipboard where I work on and so what I'm trying to do is kind of shield my paper from the, the wind because there's nothing that kind of disrupts what you're doing quicker than a breeze that's blowing your paper around. Well I've got my sky blocked in and it may rain today. And so I've put in some clouds that look like maybe we might get a little bit of rain. I'm hoping we don't. But I've got my composition selected. I'm looking for some depth where I have that tree line in the back that's dark and some a grassy field and another tree on the pond edge that's closer and you can see the water, and you might even be able to see some of the reflection of the sky in the water. And so I work with this viewing card, and I work that out, and then the next job is to pick the paper colors that I can use to interpret that. Um, now, you can decide that you want your art to be very close and exacting and faithful to the scene. Or you can just let nature charge your imagination and you just go from there. And it inspires your, your design or your artwork, but it's not necessarily a direct replication of that scene. This tool allows me to get a little bit more precision on my tearing. I do most of it with my fingers and you get sort of good at being able to shape something by hand. But to just give it those little touches that make it more tree-like You want those little details where the, the sky is showing through the leaves at the edge of a tree. It's just a little bit more irregular than you can usually get with your fingertips. When I work with multiple adhesives. I work with a wheat paste, which is like a wallpaper paste um, that you mix up from, from wheat uh, powder and then I have like an, a gel medium which is like a, an acrylic that a, a acrylic painter would use and I have white glue which is like an Elmer's glue just your basic um, white glue.